like all right so what we want to do now is we're going to make the two buttons that's going to be the buy button for both the shirt and pants and because this is a tutorial i'm not going to do anything too uh too crazy I'm not gonna go too much into it but i'm just gonna quickly make let's let's just make two parts um make it a little smaller this is gonna be the pants i just move this up a little bit and then this is gonna be shirts so top ones for shirts bottom ones for pants i'm not gonna label anything just for this like a tutorial but just for reference we're gonna name this to shirt purchase and the other one to pants purchase did i spell that right yeah all right again naming this won't really matter just it's just for your own organization but what you want to do now is go to any of these i'm going to go on shirt purpose uh purchase and we're going to insert a script All right, what you want to do now is a very short script. The only thing we want to do now, you'll notice that there is a blank spot right here. For local item ID, what you want to do now, so obviously pay attention that this is the shirt button. So we're going to go to the shirts uh, section on the model. We're going to just, all we're going to do is just copy that ID once again, go back into the script and just paste that right there. Same thing. And then what we're going to do now is, yeah, so we're going to duplicate the script put in the pants purchase and but this time we're going to replace this id with the pants id so now it's going to be that and now what you want to do now one more thing before it is pretty much done but one more heads up now because these two aren't my clothes i do not own these codes i do not make them you'll notice that in the game this will it won't work and i'm going to show that on screen it just won't work like that what you want to do is make sure you your game is published so let's go publish this game let's do mannequin i guess oh, I spelled that wrong. test me whatever all right what we're gonna do now once this is created i want to go to game settings go to security and what you want to do is allow third party sales now do this only if you if you're just randomly selling clothes if you don't want anyone else's clothes being sold in your game do not do this step just do this for your own clothes only but i'm just saying just in general if anyone wants to sell anyone else's clothing other than their own then you would have to go to security allow third party sales click save and then boom it'll work like that now because i do not own any of these i'm gonna go test this out but this time with my own clothes therefore i don't have to or actually you know we could just i'll, just, I'll do that and we'll just go hop on in, in game all right so here is the uh the mannequin test game i just published it updated it so now let's go check this out and see how the mannequin clothing thing will work as you can see you just avatar this won't do anything but if i as soon as i click on this button for shirts 
you'll see this item is not for sale obviously your account's not been charged but it does work same thing with the pants i'll probably own these ones because i do have a few pairs but anyways it does work you can see that and that's it basically for this video i know i haven't uploaded for a while obviously because the school year is coming to an end and especially for high school students like me we have exams so i do have to prepare here and there this should be the last week of school hopefully i think so i will be back to uploading uh consistently once again if in the summer so uh yeah that's basically it comment down below if you guys do prefer me using my voice or do you guys like those caption videos better uh and that's basically for this video so hopefully you guys did enjoy be sure to like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye